Canoopsy here, and the HTC 10 is a very interesting phone. It doesn't have any sort of gimmick, any major redesign, or anything really groundbreaking or outstanding. But, this phone is one of the best phones I've used this year so far. Why is that? Let's find out. The design is one of the best parts of this phone. While it isn't a major departure from the previous HTC M9, something about it is still very alluring. Maybe it's the chamfered edges that shine under different lighting. Or perhaps it's the very tactile buttons, textured so you know exactly where they are. Or it's the simplicity of the overall phone with no glaring design features. And maybe it's the feel of the phone, a solid piece of metal that doesn't feel weak but feels powerful, not heavy but weighs enough so you know that it's there. The phone also has a fingerprint scanner that's much faster than the rest. Unfortunately, the phone is not waterproof or really resistant to water like the S7, but regardless, the design is still phenomenal. Something else that makes this phone stand out is the superior audio quality. While it's not two front-facing speakers like the HTC M9 and it's not too loud, the sheer quality is definitely there over the competition. For others, it's a space on a sidewalk. The busy streets are their home. The screen of the phone is beautiful too. It's 5.2 inches, Quad HD, and LCD 5. It looks amazing with vibrant colors and dark blacks. However, it doesn't get too bright and has a slight pinkish tint at certain angles. But besides that, the beautiful wallpapers and any contents you play on it looks great. Of course, this phone has the latest specifications, like the Snapdragon 820, Adreno 530 GPU, and 4GB of RAM. Basically, at this point, that means nothing, except that in daily performance, this phone is absurdly fast. That means games, web browsing, or anything you throw at it, no lag. Battery performance is good too. Expect a day to a day and a half, but not much more. The phone charges through USB-C and uses Quick Charge 3, giving you about 50% in 30 minutes. But contrary to HTC's claims, the phone does get quite hot during charging. Running on the phone is Android 6.0.1 with HTC Sense on top. A major selling point for this phone or most other HTC phones is that HTC is highly committed to timely updates, so expect many more major Android releases down the line. The software itself is very minimal and pretty close to stock Android, and this is because Google actually worked with HTC to tone down the amount of unnecessary duplicated apps, and this definitely makes a huge difference. The software allows you to theme the phone, includes blink feed, and my favorite, enhance the quality of your headphones. You can make custom profiles that enhance the bass, add more detail, enhance loudness, and add a bit more warmness to your music when you're using any sort of pair of headphones. So, simple features, yet very effective and very welcome. I want to discuss cameras for a bit. HTC has had plenty of issues with cameras, but finally they've really improved the experience. That's not to say it's perfect though. However, shots have great sharpness and definitely deals with dynamic range pretty well. This phone can also shoot in RAW and has a good manual mode for pictures. And, for the selfie lovers, the 5 megapixel wide-angle front-facing camera is good, and the optical image stabilization helps to steady some photos, but doesn't drastically improve them. 4K video recording is good with great stabilization, but not the best autofocus. To conclude, the HTC 10 is a really good phone. It doesn't have stuff like modularity or dual cameras or some wild design, but that's a good thing. It's just a really great phone with a great design, awesome software, performance, and a good camera. A phone that anyone can pick up, use, and love. What do you think of the HTC 10? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.